What happened over the past few months in the Reckonist Peninsula, in the town of Grindavik, is amazing. It's a puzzle at the same time. We had a lot of earthquakes, and we had the bulging of the nearby area of Sorsengi associated with earthquakes, and we had cracks in the Grindavik opening up. When the magma is present somewhere like that, the cracks will be filled up with the magma, forming a lava and rising to the surface. In that area, when a worker called Ludwig fell into one of these cracks, which had a sinkhole at the bottom of it, we discovered something shocking. There was tide at the bottom of this sinkhole. Water from the sea was penetrating it. And tide going and coming was extending the sinkhole and the cracks in all that area. A diagram shows the depth of this uh, sinkhole. If it was like what we saw in the Hagofell, when the cracks open up and magma is present, we will have eruption. There was no magma under the Grindavik. That was the reason I called it a dry eruption. There was no magma present, but there was seawater. Wave action from the sea on the coast of the Grindavik and penetrating through the cracks created by the earthquake and the bulging of the land in the nearby Sorsengi creates these voids, extend the cracks, creates sinkholes, and they collapse. And the collapse eventually will lead to formation of new landforms. They may settle over time. And erosion also can cause a lot of problems. Part of the town disappears. Part of the town sinks or falls into the sea. In the Grindavik, magma is not present. The danger is from the tides and from the seawater. Subsidence and sinkholes are the forces that destroy the Grindavik, not the volcanism.